now that I've got my license, I have a little bit more freedom than I used to. And I just have like the freedom to go out whenever I want and go wherever I want actually. And Armando definitely takes advantage that I have a license because he literally wants to go everywhere, but he doesn't pay for gas, so I don't get it. My car wheel is not... No, oh, but stiff. What the no, hell? This isn't. Did you do something to the wheel? It's yeah. super stiff. Your car is not on. Oh my god, you stop. Start the engine, yeah. Oh my god, I mean. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm safe drive. Dude, oh my gosh. My car wasn't You're even on. <laughs> Obviously, the steering wheel is not turning because the car's not on. Like that's, that's common sense. It's, it's funny how she didn't know that. I do not know how to turn on my car. I just forgot that day. I didn't know, I didn't understand why my car was rolling back but my steering wheel wasn't moving. So I do know how to turn on my car though. Boy. Why is my steering wheel stiff? It, why are we going was, reverse? I was confused. Wow. At least we're getting out the house. And mom's been on all our cases yesterday. Oh my god, tell me about it, dude. I don't even see you. What do you do all day? You're in here supposedly in school, and then you and then I come in and you're I already playing finished video games. school. So once I'm done with school, I start playing video games. You're telling me what I want to hear, but you're not doing what you're supposed to I do, Armando. I literally am. I'm literally doing my stuff and I'm playing video games. Why are you getting so mad? I feel like she doesn't really understand what we're going through, you know, like through school because when she was younger, it was completely different. I don't think she knows like what we're really like going through. She was not going through a pandemic when Oh no, for sure she no. She was dude. younger. I, I know she just wants us to be motivated and everything, but it gets hard sometimes, man. You have like a lot of distractions right now, I feel like. Well, we do. My mom has been extremely frustrated and on edge all the time. You can't even like tell her anything because she'll just like snap. Hello, babe. Hey, how's it going? I'm so upset at Armando. Like, I just got an email from his teacher, and they told me that Armando's behind on some assignments. So I'm very frustrated with Armando right now. I just got an email from his teacher telling me that he's behind on some school assignments, and I'm very concerned about his grades. I thought we had talked about this already. I know. Why is he not keeping up with his assignments and his schoolwork? I know. They've never experienced this whole pandemic COVID mm -hmm. thing. And I know it's new to everybody, but I mean, I think this is going overboard already. Like this laziness has gone way too far already. Like they've gotten a break from getting up and getting ready and going to school. I mean, they have the luxury of studying from home. I know, and I don't see why it's so hard for them. I don't get it, babe. I just don't get it. I don't know, I'm just so upset right now. I just want them to be productive adults and they're just not paying attention, babe. I'm just, I'm just over this right now. Nothing has changed with Armando. I still feel he's not motivated and I'm just, I'm just over this situation right now. Since we're on the topic of school, I thought we'd just drive to a potential option of a college. Oh my God, there's a police right there. I'm not going that way. Oh my, he's parked and you have your license. Bye Why officer. Are you you're supposed to be wearing your glasses. Mom tells you to wear your glasses because you need your glasses to see when you're driving. Oh my God, the officer's right next to us. Oh my God. I'm idiot. so sorry, officer. You are I so crooked, Eileen, right now. Dude. Oh my God, officer, I'm so sorry. Eileen's driving is good, but sometimes I notice some small mistakes that she makes. For the most part, I feel safe, but sometimes she messes up a little bit and it's kind of like, um, so basically what I wanted to do was this educational child services, something like that, that in, like basically it involves kids. Although I don't have kids, I feel like I'm very patient with most of them, except for Elena. Except for Elena, Elena, I was about to say. Elena's the only one that, you know what, you know what, I'm not gonna let her slide. That, that girl, no. <laughs> I wanted to get into um, child like services. Being like a teacher's assistant, I remember walking into one of Zeke's daycares and I was like, oh my God, this looks like a fun environment to be in and something that I would be interested in. Hey man, it looks pretty cool. It's to be really honest. nice. It's, it's close nice, to the house. Yeah. It's convenient. Like it's good. Um, they got a middle school right here too. So that means you can help the kids here in middle school. Maybe. Yeah. There is a school that I was interested um, 
when I was looking for colleges, I found one really close by to my house and it was just a community college. I had the programs that I was looking into and stuff. It's literally like five, 10 minutes away from my house. I already talked to Armando about this. If he slacks off anymore with his assignments in school, he's in jeopardy of probably not even graduating. If he doesn't even get a high school diploma, uh, how are you even gonna get a job somewhere? That's like your stepping stone. No, like it, it shows irresponsibility if you can't even get a high school diploma. How is anybody going to take them serious? They need to understand that they're growing up and they, they need to start acting like young adults. Well, we need to talk to them about it then. I'll see you later on, babe. Okay, no worries. Remember that we're, we're, we're all here for each other and technically we're all a team, so we got to stick together, all right? All right, babe. Love you. All Stay right. safe, Love okay? You too. All see right, you later. I'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 I feel like the pandemic has been going on for so long that at first I was giving them a little bit slack like don't worry we can do it you can take a break but it's already been months and I have not seen any changes and I can't live like this anymore they need to have some goals all right guys serve okay. yourself because I'm not okay, serving I'm starving anything. and Elena was literally crying earlier because she was so damn hungry so mom you should serve this is my no you guys can serve yourself so I'm sorry oh. my little piece of chicken there you go dude this is half of a chicken right here Holy <laughs> okay crap. This is, the rest of this is for dad when he gets home from work. it's dinner time and again Ricky's not here because obviously he's working I think I really need to talk to Elena about what's going on with this dating app tonight because it's been on my mind and I just can't seem to let it go so I definitely need to talk to her about that who was right <sighs> you guys me, I'm like actually really tired from today. What have you been doing? Yeah. You've been going to sleep late lately, maybe? Yeah, I'm like on my phone a lot. Cause I get distracted on my phone, that's why I go to sleep late. I'm all that, I'm sure you could relate. Yeah, I just go on my phone till I fall, fall asleep. Maybe a little bit uh, too, much in, too much swiping right or left or whatever. What are you talking about? Does your finger get tired of doing this? Oh, and um, mom, and mom when I leave, we're talking about something called a dating app. No, okay. Whoa. You have to swipe on someone, and if they swipe on you, then that means you could go on a date with them. Really? Is that what they were talking about in front of you? I just have to be careful because I don't want to expose Alina in this process. Does anybody know what this woman's talking about? Because I don't. Um, oh, no. no. Mm. Was, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I just said I stay on my phone, and that's it. I'm although you said you do that, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> what? Maybe a little notification of somebody adding you to something? What are you oh talking my God. about? What are you... Spit it out, sister. I've been chilling. I don't, you know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I love how you're the only one on the table on your phone. Are you just trying to ask me if I'm talking to somebody right now, or what are you trying to say? Well, since lately you haven't been telling me anything, I really don't know what's going on in your life or your personal or private life. What if someone texts me? What's the problem? Okay, but I've never seen you get so many texts like back to back. Like that's that sounds like maybe a bunch of boys texting you. Oh, do you know something that I don't or what? Maybe a dating app? Um, I don't know what she's talking about. I don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, now why is Lena acting sus? I randomly hear about a dating app and I just want to know what's going on. Randomly? Who? Well, Who'd you hear this from? Someone. And then I also hear that you're encouraging someone else in this family to get a dating app. Is there like speakers in here or something? I don't know, are you like eavesdropping on us when we talk? I think there's a little bird. Um... Mm. A little birdie, huh? I wonder huh? who the little bird is. A little is. birdie, huh? A little birdie told mom, huh? Hmm. Yeah. I have little options here on who exposed me to my mom. First of all, Armando, I already know, me and him know so much about each other that if he were to expose me, I could expose him right back, so I know he would never do that. And the other option that I had was the little mole in the family, which is Elena. When I was talking about this situation, Elena just happened to be right in between me and Armando, not saying a word. So she was plotting the entire time. And I don't think she could ever be trusted ever again. Well, I mean, okay, what do you want me to tell you? Okay, the truth, maybe? I feel, okay, like, I feel like you're just not telling me anything anymore. I'm so like in the dark with your relationship status that it really bugs me to hear that you're not telling me. Well, mom, I just, Downloaded a dating app. Oh, for fun. It was a, it was just like um 
like I was bored and I was like, oh, let me download it for fun. I don't talk to a million guys on there. Well, how does that dating app work? <sighs> oh, mom, why do you wanna know? Okay, but if my daughter is on the dating app, I need to know what's going on. But she's 18. It doesn't matter and you need to shut your mouth because you're not an adult and you're already yeah. thinking about getting on a dating app, that's a no-no. You have to be 18 to get on a dating app. I'm not 18 yet. Usually it's really easy for me to talk to my mom about boys, but this is a whole different ballgame. I'm talking about boys that I've met online through a dating app. It just sounds a little bit sketchy and I can see why she's freaking out. So I'm not like, I don't even want to be having this conversation right now, to be honest with you. Why do you have to get on a dating app? And do you know how scary these things are? Like people know you on social media. Like how do you know these people have good intentions for you? How do you know that these guys are like genuinely being nice or they recognize you and they're like, oh, this is baby Aileen, let me try to hit her up. Just to see what they get from you. You think that's something good? How do you think your dad's gonna feel if I tell him you're on a dating app? You know he's gonna not agree with that. I think one of my biggest fears with Eileen being on this app is just meeting the wrong person. Okay, but it's not your guys' decision. I downloaded it and I didn't even have to ask you. We would have had no idea if um, a little birdie didn't come around and say anything. Like, you but wouldn't it have any matter. clue. I mean, this is your safety. Times are different. Okay, but you're gonna go to college someday. You can meet someone in college. Can't you just wait? Why do you have to get on a random dating app? Why do you app want me like, to oh. turn 30 years old and date start Mom, when you were younger, you were out because there was no phones, there was no dating apps, there was nothing. But I married we your have dad and he was to those my neighbor, now. okay? But we have access to okay. those But I married your dad and he was my neighbor. I didn't have to go on a dating app. He lived a block away from my house. I mean, Boy, is the love of your life I mean, live a block away from you? I wish. Exactly. I'm gonna go freaking, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go walk around the neighborhood right now. Go right now. walk around the neighborhood. I guarantee you, you'll find a man because that's how I found mine. Nope, everybody's inside. Yeah, exactly, that's my point. Everybody's inside the house right now. There's a pretty girl around the street. Why don't you go talk to her? I will. Once we're out of quarantine. Oh, does she have a brother? <laughs> all you have to do is walk, and you can't even walk. It's, all you want to do is be playing video games in your room. Oh my God. What if that girl's your future wife? You see, that's how I found dad. He was literally my neighbor. You need to go fight. She has a brother. You should go talk to the brother too. Most of the time, I think smart, so like. It doesn't matter. Why are you even saying it's okay for your sister to be on a dating app? You know that there's so many people that can stalk you and all this crazy Yeah, there's stuff. creepers, but you know, you gotta yeah, like bro, talk to these stalkers. people for real. You don't even know if it's the same person. What if it's a senor, a hella senor behind them? That's why some dating apps, um, you can get um, verified on there and that's how you know it's a real person. Mm, oh, I don't like that idea. Well. Let's see what your dad says, cause I don't think that's a good idea. It would be worse if my mom found out that I was talking to multiple guys right now because I guess it's just riskier talking to all these people online that I've never met before. I don't know, it just sounds a little bit crazier. Hmm. Can I get a tortilla? Mm. Oh, oh, your tortilla. I'll grab a tortilla. Here, where's the face? I don't really know what Elena's intentions were by telling my mom about these dating apps, but I definitely do need to get to the bottom of this ASAP. I was thinking, since nobody's paying attention to me and nobody takes me serious lately, I was thinking of opening an op uh, what is it? Uh, OnlyFans account. Oh my God, no. For what? To make extra money. What's wrong with me getting an OnlyFans? No. 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 Is she, dude, is she, she okay? is crazy. You know how many people are gonna flame me on social media or in person? Don't even involve me in that, please. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to the My Dream Quinceanera channel. What do you guys think about Elena exposing me? Comment down below.